So, in our series about uh, muscle, uh, today we are going to uh, again do a small demonstration. You can also do this along with me or after this. A lot of people don't understand tensile force, right? How much of force it requires to stretch an object, all these things. It is difficult for people to understand or visualize, right? So, I'm going to do a, a simple experiment. So, this uh, uh, ordinary A4 sheet, which we uh, use on our clinic. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, uh, there's nothing in this paper, right? <clears throat> So I'm going to uh, fold it like this, right? So I fold it uh, four times, I think. And then hold it in each hand, right? And then try to pull it, right? I'm not joking, I'm giving my maximum effort, right? You can try this at home also. You can try to do this. You will not be able to tear it. Right? We know it's, a, it's an ordinary paper. For an ordinary paper, when the direction of your, uh, the fibers which are inside, which are, uh, if you're trying to pull it opposite to it, it is very difficult, right? You can, you can even do that, and then also you can't tear it, right? What's the lesson in this is, uh, People claim to uh, claim to move the fascia or reorganize the fascia. What nonsensical term? I don't know. Or trying to uh, <clears throat> stretch a ligament and things like that. Even a muscle, it's absolutely impossible to do that, right? Uh, the tensile force of uh, your um, biological uh, fibers, that the muscle fibers, your ligaments, and things like that or equivalent to steel. The fascia needs around uh, uh, something like uh, extraordinary amount of 70 or 80 kilograms to uh, pull it, um, tear it or something like that, right? So <clears throat> remember this uh, whenever you're thinking that I'm stretching uh, things which are unstretchable. You can't even tear a paper, leave alone, uh, living biological uh, structure. Thank you for watching. If you want to uh, watch more videos like this, uh, subscribe to our uh, channel. Thank you.